All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to broadcast your games on Steam to other people who are on Steam. So the simple answer is it uses your own Steam settings in order to broadcast to other people. And to access those, all you have to do is bring up your Steam overlay by hitting Shift Tab, and then you can go to your settings by clicking the gear wheel right here. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your voice settings are set up correctly. Otherwise, people won't be able to hear you. And to do that, you'll want to put your voice device, mine's my Blue Yeti Pro, and then my voice output that's is, device is my Logitech headset. So you can adjust your voice volume with the input and you can adjust your mic the what you hear from other people and voice through the output. Now, what you can also do is you can also do things like set up a push to talk down here. My push to talk is usually the tilde key. I can set that up right here. And then you can also adjust other various settings right here through this window. Once you have that done to actually start the broadcast, the easiest way is to just go down to broadcast and this will tell you what your current settings are and what you want to you know broadcast at by default it sort of starts at the same quality levels as like default twitch streaming 3500 kilobytes per second and then you can optimize it for quality or performance if you have a slower computer you might want to optimize it for performance you can select your resolution here i might do 1080p just for fun and then for privacy who can request to see you broadcasting? You can set it up so broadcasting is always disabled, just to be sure. Friends can request to watch my games. Friends can watch my games always. It'll just start broadcasting if they pop in to try to watch. Or anyone can watch my, my games. If you manually start broadcasting, it'll just be a public broadcast. So let me just set this to anyone can watch my games. And... Now I can just click at the top here, not broadcasting, and then that'll open up my Steam community hub. And it'll open up sort of like the uh, base camp or like the landing page for me, like the back dashboard to control my live stream. So you'll notice as I've clicked that, it's already started the broadcast because in the upper corner here, there's a little red light that says live. And I can see right here that I'm currently live inside of my HUD. I can give a little title, Test Among Us Tutorial Stream. And then I can update the broadcast with a title. Uh, the, currently the only viewer is me, myself, and I as the one viewer because I just started this. And then you can do things like see who's typing to you in chat by bringing up the HUD and say hello to people. You can send feedback about this tool. You can read the broadcast FAQ. You can go to the store page for this game. Like maybe as you play, you want to grab your friend in there. But they don't have the game, so you can quickly click that to go to the store page to either see your broadcast at the top or to buy it for your friend. And then that's really it for the most part. When you're done streaming and you're done wanting to broadcast your game, you can click on stop the broadcast and then click OK. It'll take a moment, so don't just start like, you know, running around your room, getting out crazy confidential documents from your bank or something that people might be able to overhear you talking. Give it a moment for this to tell you in this screen, the preview screen, that the broadcast has ended. That tells you that it's done. Now you can close this window, exit out of your overlay and you're done. So that's how you start a stream. That's how you stop a stream. Just remember that you want to actually have your microphone settings squared away before you try to broadcast. So double check those, maybe test it a little bit, get a friend to watch your stream so they can tell you if your audio levels are right, and then go from there. So I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Lloyd. This has been how to stream your gameplay to Steam, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. And have a good one.